morning. Welcome to Scrap and Rabbit. This is Christine. I've been so busy crafting these days and I'm finally taking the time to upload some of the projects that I've been doing. I already uploaded some little Bibles earlier this morning and this is another album. It's a, Actually, it's a journal that I finished making. So I'm going to take you through this one quickly. I don't have very many embellishments on this because, like I said, this is a journal. It's not a scrapbook album, although you could put some photos in there if you wanted to. But it's very, very plain on the outside. But I'm using a beautiful paper collection. And it's a Tim Holtz ideology. This one here. But you can use whatever paper collection you prefer. So I have this image on the top, and it closes with this little buckle. I think that's also by Tim Holtz this little buckle. Okay. Now on the side I have a little flower embellishment and that's just to hold this little ribbon. And that's just to keep your spot in the book where you're journaling. And I have a little button center on there and I embellish the spine with the paper and a little bit of um, a brown cardstock and I ink the edges with black ink on the back. Again, very plain. I just have a little die cut here for a date, and I like this. I've had this stamp forever. It's the rear end of a little rabbit, and it just reads the end. So I thought that was kind of cute. Now this is a super, super thick journal. It's got over a hundred pages in it. So I'm going to flip through these pretty quickly. I stitched the pages to the covers. I've got four signatures on there. So it's quite a thick album or journal. I've got a few pockets in there. Now I use the coffee staining technique to make about half of the pages and it's really, really a fun technique to do. And I learned this from um, Lori, uh, her ID, her YouTube ID is Lori just a girl from the Bay and I'll include a link to her tutorial and she shows how to make these coffee stained pages. So I will include a link to that. Now here on the inside cover I have just a pocket and I did a lot of stamping throughout the album. So there's another little bird here and this is just plain. I didn't mat the tags much because this is all about journaling. You could put some photos on there. Now you might be concerned about using photos on these papers that have been coffee stained. I'm not sure how that would affect the, um, the acidity. This is acid free paper but I don't know if the coffee would affect that. If you're going to put photos in there you might want to use um, digital pictures that you print and keep your originals in a safe spot. This is the paper that I used for coffee staining. It's a sketchbook. I picked this up at my dollar store. It cost three dollars. Um, the sheets are nine by twelve. There's eighty sheets per pack and for three bucks that's pretty good because I only used fifteen sheets to make this album. And it says it's acid free and it's sixty pounds. So that's worth looking into. I like it because it's um, sturdier and it's got a nice texture. It's not, uh, it's not the same as your regular printer paper. So that's my sketchbook paper. Okay, so back to the, the journal. On the front I just have this beautiful picture of birds. And here I have a tag. It's plain on the back. And this slides in here. Now here's what the coffee staining looks like. I actually put this on a pizza pan that had the holes underneath and Lori I think does mention that in her video if I'm not mistaken that by putting the paper on a pizza pan you're going to get those little holes showing through as darker and it looks kind of cute. It looks like a polka dot design. So here's my, my stamping and I had a whole bunch of these die cuts laying around and this was a perfect opportunity to use them because I put quite a few die cuts in this album. So here's another tag. You can journal on the back, or you can put photos if you like. The, um, the, the scrapbook paper is all acid free so that would be safe to use. Now I've got a paper bag here. And there's a tag in there. This paper bag is folded in two and stitched in the album so I'm getting two pages out of this. 
The total number of pages is 112. I've got two paper bags attached in the signatures and they gave me they give me eight eight sides to journal on. I have two file folders in here and I've got two greeting cards by recollections and also I have two envelopes by recollection. So I'll go through these quickly. So there's some more stamping. I've got two tags in here. And the reason I'm showing each of these pages is because I'm I'm putting this on eBay. So whoever purchases it can have a look before. And this is where my signatures are attached. And here's an envelope. And the only embellishment on there is this little circle I attached and that holds the flap down. Now you could put some more embellishments on here if you wanted to. And that just goes under like that. Here's the other paper bag with the tag in it. And I have another tag here. I did a lot of inking. That's the other thing. When I made my coffee stain pages, I then inked around all of the edges to make them darker. Again, here's that large photo, and that just goes in the belly band. And here's the second signature. I did mix a little bit of paper that I had left over from my stash with the Tim Holtz paper. So there's some more of those die cuts I had. It just slides in there. These were steampunk stamps. And that just slides over here. There's a, again, a look at that polka dot design. When I baked my paper, I started off at 350 and I found it was a little bit hot, so I went down to about 330 Fahrenheit. And it does go relatively quickly when you're drawing your papers in the oven. You can also just lay them flat on a table, but it takes quite a few hours to dry. I've got this little piece of cardstock that I just tore and inked around the edges. Another flap, another pocket. Now this is the Recollections greeting card. I just punched the edges and I folded it like that so you can journal in here. And then I just used a little tab to hold it closed. And then this just slides up here. And these journals are really a lot of fun to make. Here's my third signature. It's a very grunge look to it. I love that. I stamped little hot air balloons. And here's my other envelope. And I used a modeling paste and a stencil on this one. tags in here. Another tag. And that just slides under here. There's room for title. And this is a pocket die. That was from Heartfelt Creations. And here again I use some modeling paste and I tore some cardstock, attached it to the page for journaling, and I have a feather stuck in there. Another tag. And here's my other paper bag. Another one of these belly bands. This is a die cut that I had laying around, so I just put a piece of tape along the bottom, I cut it in two, put a piece of tape and I can use that as a little flap to hold the tags. 
Here's another one of these fold outs. So they're quite easy to make. I think the most difficult thing is stitching through the pages to put those, to attach those inside the album. There's quite a few tutorials I think out there that show how to uh, how to stitch pages or you can just google it and there's a lot of websites that will show you how to do that. It's not difficult to do, it's just a little bit awkward working with the thread. I used embroidery floss to attach the pages. And then on the back I have just this plain paper with a little bit of gold in it for journaling. And that's it for my journal. I hope you like it. And as always, I appreciate getting your comments. Have a nice day.